Hey Jet Boosters, Nelson here with another Jet Boost tutorial. Now this one's all about dynamic list filtering. Now let's go to my screen and show you what I mean. All right, so here I have three collections. The first one being blog posts. And within the blog posts, I have a single reference to authors and a single reference to category. All right, and so that's how all three of these collections connect together. Now I have a collection list here. And in each collection list item, I have a category tag and an author. And these are what is being pulled from the single reference fields. Now, what if I, as a user of the website, not the designer, want to somehow filter between the two authors? Well, only the designer can do that through Webflow at this, uh, at this time. So if you go to filters, click on add a filter, choose authors, and it equals Chris. You go here and it shows all of Chris's um, uh, blog post. If I change it to myself, it shows mine. But there is no way for the user, after I publish this, um, let them choose between the two. Uh, so yeah, with this Jet Boost, you can. So let's get to it. All right, so log into JetBoost, you get into your dashboard and find your uh, Webflow project. Click on Add Booster, Dynamic List Filters, Create, and let's start setting this up. We're going to choose the blog post collection list, and the field I want to connect it to is the authors. And do I want to select, uh, do I want to allow someone to select multiple authors? Um, in this one, I'm going to say yes. Okay, so say I had more than two authors. I had like uh, five, right? And I want people to choose more than one. This is the this is the uh, setting for that, right? And I usually set this one to yes. Add selected filters to the URL. I set this to yes. That way, people can get a more direct link to that filter. All right, this is good for sharing on social media. So I. Strongly suggest turning that on. Press continue and we get our first check. All right, now let's go ahead and copy this JetBoost script. Click on this link to go to our code area, paste it in here, save changes and publish. So what this is doing is it's connecting this Webflow project to my JetBoost account. So it's very important not to change any of the code that you've just pasted in there, all right? So we don't need this tab anymore. We're gonna close it, test and continue. Cool, check again. Now let's go ahead and copy this class name and it's very important that you don't change this name when you paste it in. And we're gonna look for our collection list wrapper, which is that first purple uh, element after you drag in a collection list. Go to our styles panel, paste it in there, and there we go. So then we can go back to our collection list, or sorry, to our jet boost, copy the next piece of code, go back to our collection list right here, click on the last purple element, which would usually be the collection list item or whatever uh, class name you give it. And then I'm going to put an embed, an embed component. So you can either just drag an embed in or you can type in. So let me click on blog post thumbnail, control or command E to pull up the quick find, type in embed, then paste in the special JetBoost code, save and continue, and there we go. Let's go ahead and publish this. And test and continue. Checkity check, all right. So one more thing to do. Now we need to make our actual filtering buttons. So with this, the first part, it says which element do you want to use to filter, button, link block, or checkbox. We're gonna do button for now. And we're going to copy this JetBoost class name. I'm gonna go back to our project. And now we need to add buttons to the top. 
So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to drag in a collection list. All right, so this is a collection list that we're going to connect to authors. And I'm going to close that and give this a class name, paste in the class name that we copied. And now I'm going to put in a button for each of the collection items. And this button is going to pull text from the name. And so now it has uh, the names of the authors. You don't have to put a link there. We don't want to use this. So just leave it all blank. And let me style it real quick. Let me give it a style of button. There we go. And now that I have my styling done, I'm going to go back to JetBoost, copy the next piece of code, go back to my project. And for this collection item, again, we're going to press Control or Command E, type in embed, paste that special code, save and close. All right. One more step. We need to add some sort of active style to this. OK, so I'm going to go to JetBoost and copy the, the next class name of active. Click on any of my buttons, give it a combo class of active. OK, so I have my original uh, style and now we're, we're going to style our active state. And I'm going to change the background color to green. And then I'm going to remove this. So I'm removing this class name that we just added because I don't want Webflow to render this as active immediately. I only want it to render as active when I click on it. So even though I remove the class, it's not being removed out of my project. It's still being saved inside of Webflow. So now I'm going to press publish and we should be done. There we go. Let's test and continue. Come on, come on, come on. Yay, there we go. We're done. And so now to finish up, let's go ahead and double click to name our booster. We're going to call this uh, author uh, filtering and click outside. Go to my staging site and let's try it. So only Chris or both of us, or turning off Chris and just showing me. But there you go. All right. And that's how you do it. Dynamic list filtering. Very easy to do with JetBoost. Uh, yeah, go ahead and have fun with your new JetBoost.